Today I'm going to do a, a, a gun I don't actually have here to review, but so this is basically a gun review and uh, first test video. And it's on the uh, Remington 700 ADL, I think it is, uh, the synthetic model that comes with the scope, all matte black. Uh, it's basically like Remington's youth entry level, I'm not sure if it was the youth model, but it was the entry level entry level gun uh, I think it, if it's the same exact model I think it uh, lists for like $541 um, so my friend brought me this gun and we went to sight it in uh, it was a 30 out 6 it's got some there's definitely some issues with this stuff and and with Remington itself and we're gonna get into that as I go farther but first off the gun Mechanically seemed seemed fine, okay. It operated well. The fit and operation on the parts were were good, acceptable for a lower end model. The trigger was actually pretty good for the for the model. It uh, we had like barely any creep at all. It was a little bit heavy, about a pound heavy for what I would like, and uh, but it broke really clean. It was a decent decent trigger on a on a stock. Uh, Cheap, cheap gun, basically. Uh, fed, fed worked everything. We sighted it in with Remington uh, green, green and yellow box, uh, 165 grain bow tails. Uh, the deal I have is the scope on it, the stock on it, the the rings and mounts. Okay. I, I we we ended up. He set up a couple targets, downrange. At 50 yards, I took a fir my first couple shots at 50 yards with it. I was aiming at the target on the right, and it printed on the target on the left. Okay, this scope was 18 odd inches off at 50 yards. Okay, remarkable. And it was also low 10 inches. I'll, I'll get into this. The the scope. Let's go back a little bit to the to the fit and finish of the gun or the. Not the, not the fit and finish, but the quality of the parts. The stock sucks. It's too small. And like I said, I don't know if it's a youth model, but it's a super dainty stock. It's so narrow. It would definitely be better with a bigger coat on. But uh, the, it seems like the angle of the grip was bad. You couldn't lay down and use this weapon barely at all. That's kind of a problem all the time. But the cheek weld sucked. Uh... The butt pad to me seemed very cheap. It, it was, it was pretty uh, forgiving recoil wise. The pad itself, but the the butt pad had like this. It seemed like a th like a thin plasticky layer as the cover. Uh, the scope rings were garbage. The scope itself, a total piece of shit. Uh, I don't understand. I, I don't know what brand it even was. It, it wasn't even branded. Uh, it was a three by nine, uh, 40 millimeter, I think. But this, I had, it was a, a quarter MOA clicks on it. I adjusted the scope over a hundred clicks to the right to get this thing on, on target. And then it was, I don't know, up 10 inches, whatever it is. It, an amazing amount of adjustment. It didn't run out of adjustment, and we got it on paper anyway. To the to the scope's credit, it has a lot of adjustment, I guess, but it, it needs to because the, the rings and mounts and whatever on this and the factory setup of this gun was garbage. Okay? The scope itself, I don't know if it was made in uh, well, East Krapistan or what. It was one of the worst focused uh, crap eye relief shadowy pieces of shit I've ever tried to look through like like I'd rather look through the water on my turtle tank and try to get a good reticle sighting out of this than this thing you, the reticle looked doubled all the time uh, it, it, the glass was amazingly the glass was actually fairly clear but it had some mirage weird friggin' almost ripple effect. The thing is trash. I mean, I've looked, I, I've had like a, probably a 40-year-old Tasco scope for a 22, 
in the bottom of my gun cabinet that's a better scope than this piece of crap that's on this thing, right? The scope rings are cheap as shit. The mounts could be better, okay? We finally did, did, did get the gun sighted in, okay, it, and it, it shot. I hit the, the X at 100 after a while. But uh, why can't they even bore sight these, these weapons and put a decent friggin' scope on that? That scope doesn't cost $20, whatever, whatever brand of garbage they're selling you. And now is the time where I'll launch off on my, my anti-Remington tirade. Ty Remington for years has been screwing the gun shooting public. I don't understand why people are fans of Remington at all. I'm going to get a little more jacked up on this coffee. Uh, this French press uh, Green Mountain. And then I'm going to go farther in my rant. Because Remington does make some good weapons. Their higher end rifles are nice. I would, I would use one higher end. But... <laughs> The Remington pistols, the, the 1911s they make, are shit, okay? I've handled uh, many of these things at stores. The worst slide-to-frame fit I've ever seen on 1911s. Rock Island Armory, I've seen nicer fit, okay? Uh, there's no excuse for that shit. The Remington 700s rifles, like we're talking about in this ADL uh, ghost gun review here. My dad hunts with a uh, Remington 700 I'm not sure what model it is, but it's a 300 Win Mag. Let's branch off into the Remington uh, 700 trigger problems they've had that they tried to hide and cover up until they got sued, and now they've uh, redesigned their triggers. Before that lawsuit, if you guys are familiar with, and the issues with the Remington triggers, two years before that, this 300 Win Mag my father has had a negligent discharge due to that crap trigger. Okay? Like a couple of them. Uh when you'd cycle the bolt forward, I'm not sure how many times it actually fired around. He knew there was an issue with it. When he couldn't pull the trigger at a, at a deer he was trying to shoot at. It was like the gun was on safe. Nothing happened. He he unlocked the bolt, locked the back bolt back down, and the gun went off, fired into the air. So he, he looked the gun over, emptied it out, started running the bolt, and multiple times when he put the bolt home and locked it, the, the, the uh, striker fell, okay? When he sent that gun back to Remington, they lied to him and said it was dirty. Okay, the gun was, he only had the gun for a year, right? I mean, it wasn't immaculate, but how you carry a gun in a, for a hunting season, a stainless steel rifle uh, for in a single hunting season, how dirty is it going to be? So they, they charged him and they replaced the trigger. They said, it was dirty, but we replaced the trigger anyway. Okay, so they were lying years before the lawsuit and they when they knew... They had issues with their trigger. And Remington has been pulling this shit on the American shooters, and while well, we're wide shooters, whoever is owning their products, for a long time. They're selling people garbage, okay? Why is it you can't get a decent quality entry level rifle? This 700 ADL, for all intents and purposes, is basically useless, okay? Who's going to shoot this gun? You buy this gun for a teenager who's never hunted before and 30 out 6 a decent open cal opening caliber for a, for any hunter. The gun is so light it kicks like a friggin' horse, which that doesn't particularly bother me. But for a younger shooter, it's going to be intimidating. They put this cheap ass plastic stock on there that sucks, right? The kid's not going to be able to get a good, good cheap weld. The gun's going to be so light that it recoils too hard. Uh you got a scope that you can't get the proper eye relief on, so these kids are going to scope themselves trying to get a good look. And why can't you put a friggin' decent scope on this gun? You're not going to lose your ass on it. You buy 10,000 scopes that are fucking $40 more than the one you're putting on here, you're not going to lose your ass on it. Okay? Quit being scumbags, Remington, and make decent shit. Okay? These mounts that you're putting on, these rings... Why can't you make a run of, like I said with the scopes, 10,000 of these decent rings. Once you tool up and make them, they're not any more expensive. You don't need to put uh, Chinese garbage on your rifles. I've literally held and operated uh, 
multiple designs of Kalashnikovs that were far better than this Remington 30-06 ergonomic wise, comfort and fit wise. And that you could hit the paper with iron sights easily, you know. Uh, <laughs> when I pick up an American hunting rifle at a store, why isn't it within a palm print on the paper while I'm trying to sight it in? It's, it's totally ridiculous, man. Totally ridiculous. Uh, you should be ashamed of yourself. D completely. Completely ashamed. Like, why? Why are you selling this garbage to people? Why don't you straighten up your act? You wouldn't have all the financial problems you do if, for one, uh, I, I, I thought somebody told me that Remington went into bankruptcy lately. I'm not sure if that was true or not. I didn't, even, I didn't bother looking it up. But it doesn't surprise me since you still operate a plant in New York State which is retarded, move, you know, and make a quality product. You got companies like Dan Wesson operating out of CZ USA in Connecticut. Now, is there a more restrictive state than, than Connecticut? I doubt it. But Dan Wesson, CZ USA, still makes awesome high-quality products out of a highly expensive, restrictive state. Remington, you, you suck, okay? I do not own a single Remington rifle, and I will not, or shotgun or pistol, until you make quality improvements, which I doubt you ever will because your track record stinks. Like, I might own, maybe I'll own my dad's uh, Remington 700, like I was talking about earlier in the video, when he dies and wills it to me. I'll, I'll keep that gun. But as far as spending my own money on a Remington product, no. You make decent ammunition. I know your quality control's good enough to make the green and white box or the green and yellow box stuff. And that's, as far as, as I'm concerned, and used it, it's pretty good stuff. Uh, I don't know why your entry-level firearms can't be, uh, you know, a decent step up and actually make people, you know, proud to use it. No extra cost is incurred once you tool up to making a quality product, right? I know you have uh, Monte Carlo stocks and decent stocks on your expensive rifles. Why can't you, excuse me, use a, a, a less expensive um, material on your better stock, from your better stock molds or designs, like a Sidero rifle with a heavy fiberglass, larger stock, why can't you just tweak that mold and run it in a cheap synthetic and offer that offer these the youth the kids that stock or that gun maybe up or down the size a little bit but the fit on this on these stocks is is trash like it man you 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 make me stutter that I'm so blown away by how crappy your stuff is okay you you got really nice stuff like the Sendero, like I said, some of your varmint rifles are nice, nice guns. Some of your tactical stuff is nice gun too. But man, you're ripping off these young kids and families that, you know, I'm going to buy my kid a, a present. We're going to get him a nice hunting rifle for a first gift. And you buy him that piece of crap. Dude, people, save your $541 and put another couple hundred to it and get something better than that 780L and that scope isn't it, I'd rather I'd mount a child's kaleidoscope on my rifle before I would use that uh, so enough for uh, my Remington rant for the day have a nice night check out my uh, Dan Wesson uh, revolver model 15 video I just posted to you later